Hey there everybody out there in YouTube land, welcome back to another one of Jesse's Tour Reviews. So, first off, before we get started with the video, I just want to let you guys know I am going live tomorrow. First time ever on the channel, I'm going live. And it's going to be a great time, it's going to be about 30 to 45 minutes. It's actually going to be quite long, it's going to be kind of like a lecture. So, be prepared to listen to me talk, play with stuff, and just have a good time. The second thing I want to let you know is, what we're looking at here is, this is actually going to be a magic review of a Amazon kit that I got. There isn't really a whole lot to talk about, but there are some other elements that I want to discuss, which we'll go into more detail tomorrow. And that's magic theory. That's when you first get started out into magic, what are you what are you starting with? What are you practicing? What are you doing? Why am I hitting the camera? I don't know. <laughs> so what you got in front of you is you got some playing cards, not part of the kit. Got a coin here. This is my lucky coin. Uh, not part of the kit, and Murban, not part of the kit. Uh, little Dragon, he's just watching the treasure. And the treasure that comes with this kit is five silver dollars. Because what this teaches you is handling of coins and sponge balls. And why did I get this particular set first? Well, because I, sponge ball magic is my absolute favorite. And I will tell you why. I'll go into it more in detail tomorrow, but just to start you off, visually, visually it's good. So there is going to be a segment tomorrow where we're going to talk about, and hopefully, hopefully we've got a couple people on there so we can have some back and forth, is that it's going to be, what's your favorite type of magic and why? You know, if you're a mid-level or beginner magician, what are you practicing? What are you getting into? Why do you love it? When you look at it and you watch other people doing it, what about it is magical to you? And obviously if there's other expert magicians or professional magicians on there, awesome. That's great. Um, but basically for me, the visualization, the visual magic that comes with Spongebob magic is it's so beautiful to me and I'll go into more detail tomorrow on that. Uh, so starting out we've got the five coins here. Uh, I will be linking up above here. There's a really nice coin flourish that you can work up to. It's I'm not really sure what level it is. It's probably pretty high uh, for control but basically it requires all five coins and what you have to do is you actually have to and I haven't practice this as much as I should, but it's, you have to separate all the coins in between all your fingers, and I'm, and I am assisting myself a little bit here, I gotta practice more with it, uh, to kind of get this down a little bit, but goes to that, comes into here, and just to fast forward a little bit, just to show you what it looks like, you end up with all the coins if I can <laughs> get the coins to stay. You end up with all the coins on your fingers and this video is actually going to... it's a tutorial. I'm not doing a tutorial here because I can't even do it, so why would I do that? But if it looks like that when you're done, then you can close it up. And yeah, so go ahead and check that out. I'll have it linked up above here. It's on Alex Pandrea's channel. Uh, he had somebody else on showing it. It's just, a, it's just a great little flourish that you can do. It's kind of magical, but it's not, as you know, it's not teaching the retentions or anything, which it's a lot of fun. Uh, sponge balls, absolutely love them. What I'll do here uh, at the end of the video is I'll actually probably do a sponge ball trick for you, just because why not? It's a magic video. So talking about the rubber band, we're going to talk a little bit more about it tomorrow, but the reason why I have the rubber band here is to remind me <laughs> that I want to talk about organic versus on 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 our going wow i can't even talk uh why am i doing videos i don't know <laughs> no uh so organic versus on un unorganic magic in terms of impromptu effect so cards might not actually fall into that category because another channel that i watch he brought this to my attention it's pig cake it's an acquired taste no pun intended uh so basically what he said was is Stop carrying around a deck of cards. I mean, if you're practicing, that's one thing, but don't look for don't don't look for a setup in your everyday life to do a, a card trick for somebody because it doesn't feel right. Basically, you're like pressuring people to do card tricks for them. Whereas, if you're over at a friend's house and you're playing some cards and they know you do magic, they might be like, "Hey, show us a magic trick. We got some new guys over, or whatever." That's organic. That's fine. But if you're just carrying around cards and playing with them just to get people to be like, hey, show us a magic trick, you're kind of, you're, you're reaching. I, at least that was his take on it. Let me know down below how you feel about it. Uh, think about it for tomorrow. If you have a response to it, we can talk about that. But 
think about this, like a rubber band is an office supply, which means if you have this on your wrist, it's, it's not suspicious. It, it really isn't, a lot of people have stuff on their wrist like this, a lot of people might have long hair, like Jason Marr, so, you know, if he puts his hair up with a rubber band or something, if people who do that already have it on them, then it's a trick, or rings. These are things that you carry with you all the time and can have organic tricks with. My biggest one is I carry a pen at work. But or you can have a Sharpie or something like that if you're if you if you like writing and stuff and you have a little notebook, you always have a pencil on you. You can do a little trick with that. Money, coins. Coins are uh, organic to a certain extent because everybody carries them on them. They got change or they got a dollar bill or, you know, a hundred. I don't know, I don't carry hundreds on me. <laughs> but either way, those are those are organic things because they're props that you would have on you all the time. But think about it like this. So for tomorrow, think about an environment that you might find yourself in. My example would be you're at the pool during the summer. Okay? And think about, you guys can think about it for tomorrow. Think about what you might find at the pool or wherever your environment is. We'll, we'll handle it in the chat or if you want to link it down below, just leave a comment and then tomorrow we'll talk about it. But think about what kind of objects you can just find in the natural environment wherever you are, and we'll talk about that. So we're gonna talk about magic theory, we're gonna talk about performance, presentation, and what that means to me. And I, I want you guys to go over and check out the Magic Guys if you are from their podcast or from Jason Marr or Josh Mobito, and you came here great we're all in the same boat but if you guys aren't watching them you need to get over there and you need to check them out uh, so basically uh, one of the questions that I asked them for this next week's podcast is just that I asked them about their presentation and performance from their point of view so check that out if you're a beginner or a mid-level magician you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna hear this from people who perform on a daily basis then we're gonna talk about organic versus in on un unorganic inorganic <laughs> you can always comment down below on that one too inorganic or unorganic I think it's inorganic talk about what your favorite type of magic is whether it's the visual if you like sponge balls, coins, cards maybe it's sequential maybe it's the, the, theater like theatric tricks um, stage magic type of stuff you know where sawing somebody in half or disappearing large things you know things like that if that's, if that's what you enjoy let us know. We're gonna we're gonna be live tomorrow. So why don't we get this all cleared up so we can do a magic trick for you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got a little red sponge ball here. What are we gonna do with it? So I I've been kind of working on this, and I think everybody kind of knows how to do this, right? You can actually make the sponge ball come apart. You just kind of gotta give it a little bit of friction you can actually just push down on it and just cut it right in half right so everybody knows how to do that but I read somewhere the other day that you can actually put them back together so why don't we try that real quick here see if we can put them together you know and then we just gotta squeeze that feels kinda weird ooh that's starting to burn a little bit I better ah whoa what is that? Whew, it's hot. It's a little little red dragon. Where did that come from? Ooh, he's kind of scary. It's kind of cool. Ah! Ah! 